the Bush administration is trying to change the education system. It's no secret there's a shortage of teachers across the country, and the federal government is trying to encourage professionals from other fields to give the classroom a try. Our CNN Student Bureau has this report on the Teach for America program. Rebecca Friedman teaches physics at Booker T. Washington High School. You're not going to be using this formula right here. Sometimes you might need to... She's part of the Teach for America program, which recruits teachers without education degrees. Friedman postponed medical school to come into the classroom. I really want to get into a service program because I want to give something back to the community. And the more I looked at the different service programs, the more I really liked Teach for America because it was also an opportunity to work with kids. The Teach for America program is encouraged by the Bush administration to attract teachers to urban and rural public schools. U.S. Secretary of Education Rod Page advocates that teacher training and recruiting are key to reforming education. They bring to the teaching profession exciting young people who might not have necessarily thought about getting into teaching, but who will commit to at least two years of their professional career in teaching, and many of them stay in teaching. I'm still surviving, and I still love to come to school every day. So, I think I'll keep it up. There's a shortage of teachers across the country. President Bush and Secretary Page want all teachers highly qualified. President Bush is pushing his education initiative in high school visits like this one. He urges schools to ensure every child is given the same opportunity in the No Child Left Behind legislation. He says the Teach for America program is a step in that direction. There are 8,000 Teach for America teachers and alumni around the country. I'm really frustrated because when I see my buddy, I'm like scared of what I see in the mirror. It just like makes me really mad that I'm really fat and other people are skinny. It's not fair. In the United States, 9 million children are obese. Or overweight. His weight problem started when he was around 5 years old. The doctor said that was due to his asthma and the asthma medication. But he also ate a lot of stuff that could have made him fat. Sixteen hundred points. Three hours. The one and only scholastic assessment test. Right now I'm about to view my scores, my SAT ticket January 24th, then now it's February 6th, two weeks later. My goal for the test taken at this time was a 1400. Let's do this. Right now I'm anxious, but at the same time I'm kind of scared, nervous. I'm afraid what my score might be. So hopefully I've got over a thousand. Okay. Six seventy, six sixty. What is that, guys? Six seventy, and what is that? That's thirteen thirty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Jasmine has been hoping to hit one thousand. not the 810 she receives today. I don't know what else to do because I did what I was supposed to do before. I'm just lost. I thought with the um, SAT prep classes that uh, I enrolled her in, she would have improved. And uh, I'm very disappointed. Don't give up and don't turn your back. Visit SATROCKS.COM to learn how your school can benefit from the Governor's Cup Challenge.